now be recorded. So we understood yesterday that in order to create a sales order, there might be the requirement that it starts with the inquiry and then the quotation. So your customer will uh, send you the inquiry that he is looking for a particular material. Uh, you will be able to enter the inquiry in the sales and distribution module. Okay, within the sales, we understood how to create the inquiry and how to uh, uh, convert or how to create the quotation for the inquiry that we got. Okay, and what we were trying to do is we yesterday created this particular quotation. Let me just open that quotation. And then we were trying to understand how system sends this quotation to the customer. Right, so in order to send the quotations to the customer, what we need to do is we need to uh, tell the system how to determine the output. Okay, and that is the functionality in SAP called as output determination. Okay, what exactly is the output determination? So whenever you want to send any correspondence or any, uh, you can say communication to your customers, to your vendors, SAP provides you many different types of output types. Okay, so for each and every object, for example, currently we are talking about the quotation. For quotation, SAP provides the pre-delivered content for the uh, outputs. So for example, if I want to generate the output for this quotation that I created, I will go to extras in the output, header output, and I'll be able to edit or do the print preview. So for example, if I click on edit, okay, you will be able to see that system is able to generate the output. We discussed yesterday that this output, which is generated for this particular inquiry, this output is based on the new output determination, right? Because I've shown you that if you try to create a quotation now, okay, if I try to show you one more quotation, okay, let's say I'm going to VA21 and this is my quotation type. It's my sales org, distribution channel, division, enter. Okay, and this is my sold to party. Let me just enter the test here. Okay, and which material I am providing the quotation for, how much quantity, and obviously the amount, the price at which I'm going to give this material. So in order to enter the price, I will double click on the line. I will go to the conditions tab. Okay, in the conditions tab, I'll be able to enter the price at which I'm going to code this material. So let's say the price quotation price is 1000. Mm -hmm. And obviously, I also need to tell the quotation validity date. So for example, this quotation would be valid till 31st of December 2020. Now this is my quotation. And if I want to generate the output for this, I will go to extras again, output, header, and again, either edit or print preview. But this time when I click on edit, you'll be able to see the different screen compared to the screen that we have seen for quotation number ending with seven. Okay, you can see, no, again, you are able to see the new screen. Okay, this is new output determination or old output determination. The screen that you are able to see currently, this is based on the new output determination or old output determination. This is new output determination because it is this showing us channel here. Exactly. It is showing you channel. It is not showing you medium and all. So maybe someone has again made the changes to the config that we have done yesterday, right? Yesterday we told the system that we want to inactivate the new application and we want to continue using the old output determination. But it seems after that someone has gone to that configuration again, maybe someone from you who was testing the system and they have again activated the new component. Okay, so how to change that? First of all, we will see how to activate or deactivate the new component. And then I'll show you how to configure based on the new output determination and also based on the old output determination. So for that, I have to go to cross application components. Okay, within this, I have to go to output control. Within the output control, I will go to manage application object type activation. Okay, in this one, uh, you can see the sales document. See, someone has again changed it to application active. That is the reason we are able to see the new output. So I'm saying application inactive and save it. What will happen now? If you go back 
to your quotation and if you try to create a new quotation once again okay let me double click on va21 just keep on pressing enter okay reference i'll just enter something uh, valid to your material quantity and let me double click and enter the price so in the conditions i'm just going to enter the price of 1000 okay now if i want to print this i'll go to extras output edit okay no this is the output although it is showing you the old one but i am in the item data currently let me come to the main document level so extras output header and edit so you can see this is the old output determination it is not showing you channel it is showing you medium right even the output type if you just compare these two screens let me resize this one so if you compare this screen with uh okay here it is inquiry so instead of inquiry let me open the quotation first because i cannot compare this to the inquiry okay so if i show you the quotation which is already created okay so i want to see all the quotations created for sales organization let me remove all these options so there are these are the few quotations that we created let's take this zqt1 okay press enter and go to extras output header and edit okay this one also i think the one that we created yesterday we activated the old output determination let me try another one where we use the new output determination okay so that we can compare how wow, exactly the two screens are different so this is again qt let me try this one extras output header and edit okay you can see i want to compare this one with this one see the difference here the output type is sales underscore quotation here if you do f4 it is only a n 0 0 normally for quotation in the old output determination our output type was a n double zero here it is sales underscore quotation similarly if you see medium it is allowing you many mediums print fax telex edi simple mail all these different types of mediums are allowed but if you see here this is there is no medium there is something called as channel and it is only showing you two channels right so this is a new output determination and this is a old output determination so let me give you some background first so output determination we agreed it is one of the very important functionality in sap which allows you to send the correspondence or to communication between two different parties let's take an example when you are creating the purchase order this purchase order needs to be sent to the vendor right how will you send it you will always send it via the output determination so output determination will create the output for you which can be sent via mail which can be sent via uh, the physical printout via the idoc via the uh, edi there are multiple different tools which are available in the old output determination similarly whenever you want to sell the order confirmation when you want to send the final bill to the, your customer again the output determination will come into the picture so this output determination is one of the very important functionality within sap which was used in sap ecc also but in ecc there was only one way of determining the output that is the old way okay how the old way works we also discussed that yesterday so if i want to perform the configuration based on my old setup that is available in spro img you have to go to sales and distribution within sales and distribution you have to go to basic functions and you would be able to see the output determination if you open this output determination it will allow you to determine the output determination based on the condition technique so you have to open this output determination using the condition technique and in this one there is a separate folder for uh, different sales documents and then for billing document so in our case i'll open the sales document and you can see this is where the output types are maintained so if i open this or if i 
uh, just open the output determination procedure. Okay, you can see these are the different procedures. I'll, I'll show you where exactly those are assigned. If you remember, I shown you yesterday here, assign the output determination procedure. So here, if you come and double click on the header, based on what is your sales document type? What is our sales document type currently? The one that we are using, this one, when we started, it is ZQT1 or maybe QT, the standard one or the one that we are using, right? So here, if you come and find out, you can see QT, you can also see, if I show you the Z, QT1, you can see it is assigned to by default quotation output. This is the output determination procedure which is provided by SAP. We don't need to make any change here. Even the output type in the old output determination is provided by SAP itself. AN00 is the output type which is provided by SAP. And what exactly is this AN00? What exactly it will do? So if you go to the output type, a and double zero this one you would be able to first of all if i double click it clearly tells how the system will determine the output so you can see system will determine the output based on the order type if my order type is uh, zqt1 system will determine this particular output type okay what are the default values for example whether the uh, the document, the output will be sent immediately or it will be sent via the scheduled job. Who is the uh, partner function who is actually going to receive this uh, communication? So all those things can be entered over here. OK, the internal programs. Again, we don't need to make any changes here, but the internal programs, you can see if you are sending it via print or if you are sending it via uh, the fax or the EDI, there are different programs. These are standard programs in SAP. If you don't assign this program, system will not be able to generate the print for you. System will not be able to generate the output for you. So these are all technical prerequisites if you want to send the uh, output to your customers. So in short, the standard SAP system provides this output type A and double zero for quotation. Similarly, if you want to see what are the different output types provided for different objects, you can see for inquiry, it is providing AF00 for order confirmation. It is providing B A double zero. So these three are most commonly used in the sales documents, inquiry, quotation, and order confirmation. Right? But now in SAP S4 HANA, now let's try to understand how S4 HANA works. In S4 HANA, when SAP came up with the first version, 1503, the plan was that only new output determination will be available in SAP S4 HANA. Old output determination will not work at all. Okay, but if you see the difference between the two, my old output determination is giving me lot of benefits or lot of flexibility in addition to what is available in the old output determination. For example, if you compare this quotation with the quotation that we are creating, here it is only allowing me two or three channels. Okay, it is not allowing me all the channels which are available in my old GUI or old output determination. Right, and that is the reason customers are not happy. Customers, even if SAP was planning to uh, completely remove the old output determination, those customers who are still using the old features, they are not happy with this particular requirement. And that is the reason. SAP has dropped that plan. So now it is optional. It is not mandatory for the customers to go for new output determination. It is optional for the customers. If they want to continue using old output determination, they can use it. But if they want to use the new output determination, that is also available. Okay. Now, what would be preferred? What is the preferred output determination which is preferred in the industry currently? So as of today, still new output determination is not that much uh, comfortable with the business. And that is the reason most of the companies are still continuing to use the old output determination. Okay, so for example, if I go to my quotation that I created, okay, and if I want to provide my output, what I'll do, I will enter quotation AN00, 